Hello and welcome to this week's haul. Uh, my name's Laura and I buy things from car boot sales, Facebook, wherever I can, charity shops that I think I can sell on for a profit. And uh, I vlog it as I do so and show you what I got, which is what I'm doing today. So we've just come back from a car boot sale and uh, got a few little things, not that much. It's not the biggest car boot sale in our area, but I've come home not empty handed. And the first item I picked up was I must have been hungry. Look, it looks like a takeaway box. I actually think this is really quite amusing. It's a jigsaw puzzle. An Indian takeaway jigsaw puzzle. It's sealed. It cost me a pound and I should be able to get around £10 with postage on top. I bought it because it was quite fun. Staying on the puzzle theme, uh, another, th another sealed puzzle. It's a shaped puzzle. As you can see, uh, 750 pieces, spinning wheel and picture within. This cost me a pound. Again, £10 postage on top. I'm hoping to get for that. Then I picked up Mickey Mouse. It's the ears that attracted me, but it's not a plush Mickey Mouse. It's a little brass Mickey Mouse and it's from Walt Disney World. It says it along the bottom. So I have had a chance to look this one up on eBay already. The highest price I've seen is £25 plus postage. And um, it did have a strike through it, so they took an offer on it, but that's a good price, I feel. Um, it came on the same stall as this one. This is Dartington Crystal. We have Dartington Cider Press not too far away from us, and they sell lots of lovely glass, crystal, etc. So not surprised we found something local. It's a Diamond Jubilee glass paperweight. It's very chunky, as you can see. This and Mickey Mouse together cost me £4. I have looked, it's got the Dartington sticker there as well. I have looked this one up and it should fetch £15 with postage on top. The next item I got, um, throw back to my childhood. My mum used to take me out a lot flying kites. And then as I've got older, um, Kath, Mum, Abby, I we used to go to Exmouth Kite Festival. I love kites. So the next item was a kite. It's in its own bum bag with adjustable strap. The lady said it's never been out of the bag and it looks like it hasn't. It's all there with instructions. I actually bought two of these. She had two. So I have two. They should go for around £10.99 postage on top. Uh, if for any chance they don't sell then I'm going to be flying these kites on the same stall as the kites stitch now stitch is looking a little bit raggy because stitch has just been through the washing machine but um oh <laughs> but he's a big stitch and I would hope to get around 12 pounds for that he cost me two pounds uh, and then I, I was on a bit of a plush theme so the next stall along had this little pig this little pig is an Ikea pig. I think it's lovely. It's very, very soft. Is he the one that went to market? <laughs> I don't or is he know. the one that's done at home? I don't know. Um, he cost me 50p and I should be able to get £12 with postage on top for him as well. Um, Stitch may end up with Abby because she's a bit of a stitch addict, but we'll see. Uh, she hasn't got this one. On another stall, I spotted Yahtzee, another game I used to play as a child. Uh, this is an 80s version, and this cost me a pound, I think, and it should sell for 12 12 99 with free postage. And the same stall, the lady had a big box, bear with me. Hot wires. Um, she did say it's all there, they're kind of inside, um, there's a plastic holder to hold each bit separately and we need to put them all back in there. It looks clean, the battery points look clean, this cost me £3 and I should be able to sell this for £15 with postage on top. Then I got uh, distracted by shiny things, so I picked up this little owl brooch, can you see this? Very shiny. I paid £2.50 for that, I should get at least £13. With postage on top postage won't be too much because it's a very small item and then also distracted by shiny things and uh, very different to what i'd normally go for i picked up this cuff bangle it's mexican silver it's got i've written it down copper brass and silver in it and it came with earrings now i've only found 
one of these, the same online, it's on Etsy, and it's just the bracelet, and the bracelet is being sold for £90. There's a similar set with the earrings, and uh, the similar set with the earrings are going for £108. So I need to look into this a little bit more, but the, the whole set together cost me £1, so very happy indeed with that. And then my last few items for today are books. So these are for the book bundles, Julia Donaldson. These are 50p each, a SOG. Superworm, which I haven't seen before. And Room on the Broom. They make good bundles. They sell quite well. And the last item that I picked up, well, it's many items in one. And uh, it's almost a given that I'm going to be drawn to these. Slimming World recipe books. There are quite a lot. We have got Slimming World Extra Easy Express, Slimming World Family Feasts on a Budget. I have this one already. Take Five. I've also got that one already. A Taste of Asia. I'll have a look through that one. Um, Extra Easy Summer Days. I've got that one already. Curry Club. And then she threw in for free on top. Everyday Chinese. The Slimming World's Little Book of Barbecue. Slimming World's Little Book of Lunches and the Fake Aways leaflet that came in one of the newspapers, I think that came in originally. And that's a lot of books. That's uh, I think it's 12 and I've got two more upstairs that are duplicates of mine that I can put with it. Um, I paid £12 for all the books. I'm going to add in my two books that I've got upstairs to this pile and I should be able to sell it for £38 to £40 on eBay. So that's what I picked up today. I'm very happy with pick up today. We will be out tomorrow as long as it's not raining and I shall add the next haul in straight after this one. See you later. So it's now Sunday and the plan was to go to the car boot sale this morning. However, when I went to bed last night, it was pouring down with rain. And in my brain, it just went, it's not going to happen. And I didn't wake up in time. And then when I woke up by 10 o'clock, it was raining again. So although the car boot sale was on, I missed it. However, I went to the charity shop yesterday, just one charity shop, and I ended up picking up a couple of things that I thought I'd show you. Um, the first is this Haynes, as in Haynes manual, but it's a jigsaw puzzle, the Klingon Bird of Prey from Star Trek. I paid £3 for this. I've seen them going on eBay for up to £19. Uh, I just need to double check that all the pieces are there. And then I spotted mess tins because it's summer, lots of people are camping. These are new, they still have their bit of cardboard. Uh, they are Gellert mess tins. They were originally £10, I paid £2. Two of those, which means that I can do one listing for two items, multi-listing. Same with the kites as well. Uh, these will go for about £10 with postage on top. Uh, and then I got one more thing, but I'm going to have to take you off the tripod. So here it is. It's really rather large. It says what it is on top, so dehydrator. I had a dehydrator all through lockdown. I was playing about with recipes, drying out apple with cinnamon and uh, oh God, all sorts of recipes. Mine was very much smaller and plastic. This one is very much more industrial. Let's get it open. There's a clip on the side. And you can see it's... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trays. Nine, is that another one? One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine trays. Okay, it's got nine trays, and then inside here, all the lead, everything. It does not look like it's been used at all. It's pristine. I paid £15 for this. Right, it's got its instructions, it's got a spare fuse. I have just plugged it in. Let's switch the plug on and see what happens. Right, that's a good sign. That's an even better sign. <laughs> this is all looking as it should. So it's all there. It's a very a substantial, sturdy, industrial dehydrator. So, what I'm going to do now is show you the things that have sold because I've started making some sales and I thought you might be interested because some of the things that are selling are things you might have seen in hauls. So I'll show you that next. The first thing that I sold, well it's not the first thing I sold, but it's the first thing that I've got up here on pictures, is the Playmobil that I bought for £40 and there was a lot of it and I was setting this up last weekend if you remember rightly. Loads and loads and loads, look at all those characters. 
This, as you can see, this went for £79.99 with £10 postage. The whole lot cost me £40 from the car boot sale. So I was quite happy with that. And the next item is the Ilford Sprite camera. This came in a bundle for £5. I think there were three or four items in that bundle. This was in amongst them. Um, and this went for £14.99 with postage on top. Ilford Sprite 35 camera. The box wasn't in the best con condition, as you can see. All declared, all photographed, and it's sold for £14.99. Next up was the cat brooch. I'm quite enjoying animal brooches at the moment. I like them. And uh, somebody liked this one as well. So this sold for £13.99. They did ask for some more photographs because they weren't sure if these white dots on the nose uh, were actually white dots on the nose or light reflection. Uh, it was light reflection. So a bit of conversation there. And this has sold for £13.99 with postage on top. Next up, an item you haven't seen because this was something that belonged to me and Kath. And these are camping cups in their own plastic holder. So back to the camping theme. I was talking about this earlier. These sold for £9.99 with postage on top. Redcliffe's Outdoor Stackable Camping Cups. Next up, another item that was mine, the Choose Your Own Adventure books. Who remembers these? I had rather a lot of these as a teenager. Uh, so this was a book bundle that sold for £19.99 with £3.20 postage on top. Then we have the um, the shower spray set. I, I, this did feature in the haul because I was very happy that it had that back strap on it so that uh, it doesn't pop off the taps like it used to when we were kids. Anyway, somebody else wanted this as well. Again, box a bit tatty, photographed and declared. £10.99 with postage on top. The troll. Hurrah. <laughs> I was quite sad to be getting rid of him really, but... Somebody else wanted him for £34.99 uh, with postage on top. Again, a few scratches on noses. Noses? There's only one nose. Anyway, photographed and declared. Oh, that's cheeky. And uh, yeah, he's off. He's been delivered as well. And the uh, his new owner is very happy with him. Next up, the uh, Sony CD player Hi-Fi. Had two of these from the um, recycling shop. One of them has sold for £39.99 with postage on top. The other one has a watcher. Uh, a few scratches on the top of this, all photographed. It's all been delivered. The owner is very happy. So that has sold and gone out. And then the Derek Fowler Woodland Cottage. I really liked this. Look at this all lit up. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> £59.99 with postage on top. Yeah, I was very happy with that. And as it goes, the other one has also just sold, but uh, haven't got the photos for that at the moment. And lastly for today is the Vintage Snoopy. I don't know if I showed this. I picked this up for 20 pence. Managed to sell it for 29.99 with £3.20 postage on top. He was only a little thing. Um, but he was one of the vintage ones from the uh, ooh, San Francisco label on him. And when I looked into this, there's quite a few with a San Francisco label on them and they seem to sell quite well. And that, that's been proven in this case. So, yeah, the sales are starting to trickle in, which is nice. And the last item, which I couldn't show because I hadn't even got around to taking photos of it. I had um, an email after the last haul about the snowman money box that I showed you and uh, it was lovely it was in really lovely condition and um, it was Ashley thank you Ashley um, who wanted to buy this off me and so we came to an agreement and it cost 18 pounds free postage now had I, I my plan with that money box was to keep it until nearer Christmas and sell it for 20 or 20 pounds with postage on top uh, but yeah, we did a bit of a deal there and that has been sent and received and I hope that you enjoy your money box. Ashley, thank you so much for that. 
So that's what's sold so far. Um, I, I was thinking maybe in the future I might keep the what the hauls and the what I've sold separate. But as this is the first what I've sold, I've just tagged it onto the end of the haul. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know. Many thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.